All right, y'all. So we back with another video, man. And this one, we're going to be talking about some Chuck again. Now, people are asking me, is it too late to invest in Chuck? Is Have you missed the boat? I know a lot of people have been um, saying stuff like, bro, once you hear people start talking about it, it's too late, this and that. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely get that. I get all the different perspectives and stuff like that. And that's why I'm going to share with you all my opinion, my thoughts on it. As you can see here, we have a nice looking chart. Very beautiful here. Um, like, as you can see, I'm not a technical analysis guy at all, but I do know that we um, broke all time high and then the all time high resistance actually became our support. So this is bullish. This is very bullish. As you can see, we're going up in another bullish pattern. So yeah, that being said, um, <coughs> excuse me, yo, you know, your boy's still overcoming um, cold right now, but yeah, I think I got tonsillitis. Like, let me, like, let me know if y'all ever been through that and what helps if y'all been through that. But anyway, um. So yeah, the, the the chart is looking good. The token is looking good. So people want to know, is it too late to get in? Um, plus, because people don't want to jump into a pumping token. Um, and in my opinion, I know some things that's coming. Like you all know the Coinbase listing is that they're talking. They're, they're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure out Coinbase. That's already been spoken about. Um, and if that gets secured, if that happens, that could be very, very big for this project. Um, and big for the token and that changes things that's a game changer so you see where we are right now you think what would a coinbase listing actually do for this project if that comes through so i mean that's something to consider also there's other there's other things that they're working on like some things some things could be huge some things even is very very big even bigger than coinbase potentially so and that that should tell you the like the focus that they have like the thing is this is a meme coin but it's it's going to a it could potentially go to a level where it's not even really a meme coin anymore because they're actually trying to add so much you know so much validity to the project where this is this is a serious project even though it's a meme coin they got the meme coin aspects the jokes the fun the funniness all of that stuff they have that they got that on lock but they're going above and beyond and doing more and they're trying to actually bring some level of value with it and and that i think that that's huge personally so um yeah like i said and some of the things that they're planning to do and, and also like i did want to touch on one thing we're a kind of a small knit community here most of us came from we're a lot of us running the same circles so when people are saying things like once everybody starts talking about it it's too late you got to realize how small the the vv community is especially people who are actually active right now it's very small so if something starts to pop off first within our community, it's going to seem like you're seeing it everywhere when in reality, it's not really anywhere right now. It, it, it's very, it's, it's very, it's very few people who actually know about it. So you, you look at a bunch of people in your community who, and that's because like we all follow each other. We all see each other or, or if we don't follow each other. We see somebody who does follow and they like and post and things like that. So, it looks like it's a lot bigger and a lot more widespread than it actually is. And then um, they are paying for promotions in, in certain um, certain um, spaces. So they, like there's been one big female influencer, I forgot her name, she's talked about it multiple times and she's dropped tweets about it, was streaming about it. Um, there's a guy who's about to drop a video today if it's not already dropped by the time this video goes up, a very big guy influencer in the um, crypto space. So these big things for this project are just starting to happen they're just starting to happen this this is it's just starting it's just starting to do anything so don't don't get fooled by the whole oh this is this is the this is the don't 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 catch a falling knife and all that all those terms and stuff like that bro the board like like really the time for the the altcoin season hasn't even really begun it hasn't done anything yet it's not <laughs> we're still waiting patiently bro we're still waiting for a lot of things to come, a lot of catalysts. Base, base is becoming a narrative. And guess what? Like, I know we, I know we are, we are holders of this project, and we want to believe that it can overtake a project like Brett. Um, because I don't know what type of work they're putting into Brett behind the scenes, but I've talked to this team. I know that they're putting in work behind the scenes. But so, if Brett, if that actually hits ten billion dollars on um a 10 billion dollar market cap on which is the narrative for that that's their narrative they think it can hit 10 billion dollars even with all the foot and stuff going on around it they believe that it can hit 10 billion dollars <coughs> oh 
if that happens, where do you see a project like this that actually is very solid, that's going to have utility for its token? I mean, you you can decide for yourself. Like that's why I say you have to do your your own research. And one of the biggest problems with um one of the biggest problems with with Brett is that the the team the developers hold too much of the of the token. I think they they hold like eighty percent. With this project, I believe it's like twelve percent or something like that. Like nobody has so much of the token that they could just dump, like and, and it's going to cause any significant damage. Like I think that that's kind of the safety net of this project. Obviously, you got a liquidity you got some liquidity locked here. Um, and this is locked for what? I think it's five months or something like that. And then on top of that, no one holds so much of the supply where it's just like you know what I'm saying. It's like it's it's, it's not it's not like that. This project is very much different than a lot of other projects, and this is why I say it's important to do your own research because you can fall for the narratives of people who just look at it up. Oh, I'm seeing it too much. Nah, I'm not doing it. Everybody's talking about it. Too late. You you see a lot of people do that. And, and that's because we live in a time and an age where you see somebody you respect or you usually agree with say something, you're going to assume that they did the research, so you're going to get that opinion. Then you, you're going to say something about it, like, yeah, it's too, they're, 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 too, they're going too crazy about that project. They're going to assume that you did the research, you're going to assume that they did the research, and it's going to turn out that nobody actually did the research and nobody knows exactly what they're talking about at all. And that, that's why you shouldn't just follow people. You shouldn't just follow what anyone says. You need to do your own research. I'm not telling anybody to jump in this project, um, except for like my friends and stuff like that. Like people that I know who's investing, who's like, bro, I tell them, I tell them all the time, bro. Like, oh, bro, you might want to get into this. You might want to get into this. You might want to check it out. Might want to see what's going on. Some big things are coming up. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna just tell y'all how it is. Like, it looks like a very, very solid project. And I know they have some very solid plans and some very solid things coming. Now um, let's go over here to Twitter, Twitter real quick, Twitter. Okay, so so this is the influencer. We have Rodney here. Um, he's going to be making a video about it. But check this out. Check out his response. Check out his reaction to seeing this. And he's going to actually talk a little bit about how he um, is going to be making a video on it. So check it out. Uh, Chuck, I'm actually going to do a video for them a little later. So shout out to uh, Base Chuck. Now this is obviously not promo. But I will be doing some promo for them later. But their chart looks. Look at that. He said this is not promo, but he will be doing some promo later. So obviously they hit, they reached out to him. They like, yo, check out our project. They got him on board to do some promo, but even not doing promo. Look, he's checking out the project and look what he has to say about it. Chuck, I'm actually going to do a video for them a little later. So shout out to uh, base Chuck. Now this is obviously not promo. But I will be doing some promo for them later, but their chart looks so good. Look at this chart, dude. 200 K in volume. Uh, $814,000 in liquidity market cap. Of, this is such a good fucking looking base token. Only 1% tax on the sale. Like this is so good. And what this shows me, like even though the market's down, like they probably have like just such a good group of holders. You know what I mean? Really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, poly up a little bit. I'm one of them, by the way. I'm, I'm one of the holders. I, I am someone who loves this project and I am holding. So, I mean, <clears throat> and it is, it is people... It's people in the community that you're familiar with. Like, it's people already holding. <coughs> and yes, a lot of people who know the potential of what's going on. Like I said, you have people that you know who are in the same circles who got the same information where it's like, yo, you heard of this new project? Yo, come come check it out. Come come meet the team, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's, it's that goes on a lot. If you're in the right circles, a lot of people just talk to each other. Like, so you get to, like, question people vet them and be like why why should we invest in this like what what makes you different like what is your goals what is your objectives all the stuff that you wish that you could do with a project like vivi you have that opportunity to do that with other projects that hasn't gotten to vivi level yet honestly we got to do that at one point with vivi the the only thing there is like we know how that turned out they said certain things at the beginning that changed later on um and sometimes that happens within projects but yeah but the this is what I love about this project. It's so it's so small, it's so young that it's still a lot of a lot of room to grow. We can still go some places with this, man. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm hoping like look at this. You got a it's, it's only a six million dollar market cap right now, bro. It's only six million. Like that that's not that's not nothing crazy right now, especially when this has the potential to be one of the biggest on base. And I actually saw something earlier from an influencer that I wanted to that I wanted to point out. Obviously, they were shilling something else. <laughs> but let me um see cuz i actually liked i liked the, the tweet that he um that he put out <coughs> he said um 
I anticipate base to be a $100 billion to $150 billion chain this cycle, making Brett a $10 billion meme coin pretty easily. Um, <clears throat> then he talks about how Ethereum hit 540 billion and Shiba hit 40 billion, um, 40 billion. Solana hit um, 85 billion and Whiff hit 5 billion. Base hits 100 billion and he thinks that Brett is gonna hit 6 billion. Now, I'm not even saying that this project is going to or has to go to the billions at all. I'm just saying realistically, with a team actually putting effort into their token, actually doing work, talking to Coinbase already, and they've been out, what, a month? They, they are already putting more action towards their token than we've ever seen, especially if you come from the OMI token. Um, that's been a token that they didn't really want to do anything with, and it's been apparent from the start. Because, I mean, you can't really argue they want to do something with it. It's been years now at this point. And honestly, if you don't know this, the OMI, the OMI project was built on OMI token investors. They invested way before an app ever existed. Before VV ever existed, they got the money to create VV from investors. So people were already holding the OMI token way, way, way before an app even existed. So... They've been kind of neglecting Omi for a while. As soon as they got the money that they needed to create the app, Omi token holders, it was to hell with them. I mean, essentially. And I mean, hopefully it gets better in the future, but that's just what it is right now. And I have to be honest about that. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, like I said, man, um, I believe that this could this has some potential. I don't think that it's a bad time to buy, especially if you don't have any. Now, if you've brought in and you have a bag already, maybe you can wait to hope <clears throat> and see see a drop potentially but i don't know when certain news and certain information is going to drop to the community i don't know when certain um new features and certain forms of utilities and things like that is going to actually drop to the community so there's multiple catalysts coming up and if they're talking to coinbase already um i would assume that they're probably talking to other um other more easy exchanges to get on to potentially <clears throat> so I mean, who knows? Who knows what's who knows what's going on and when we're going to get news and information, man. So you can bank on it going down, or you can, um, I mean, you can bank on it going up. I mean, really, it's you 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 placing your bets here. Personally, I believe it has a lot of room to run up. I, I think that this is just the beginning. This has all been accomplished in a month. This this has all been accomplished in a month, bro. Like we hit an all time high. Like yeah, we hit an all time high, and then. We we um got a new support level. Now we're we're rising again, and this is a new all time high right here. So obviously that's going to be the new resistance up up in this area, and we're probably going to bounce off that area a few times. So maybe you want to hold till we potentially come back down. Like maybe we can see some type of double top. I'm not a I'm like I said I'm not a <laughs> I'm not a technical analysis guy, but I do have seen certain things. You look at a few charts enough times, you see when stuff you know happens. So, yeah, I mean, maybe we're forming a double top, and I know that that's supposed to be bullish. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's, you, you never know. Like, you just got to sit, chill, wait patiently, and get a little bag. Like, when, when the way that I invest, I'm not sitting here telling people to sit here and put your life savings into anything. Um, you got 100 bucks or something like that, throw 100 bucks in and see what happens. Like, I, I've put 25 bucks into a project. Oh, I'm like, uh... I don't know nothing. I don't know too too much about this project. Let me just throw in twenty five, and I, I was shocked to look up the next day, and that was worth one hundred and fifty. So like you never, you you never you never know. So yeah, that being said, let me know what you all think. Um, like I said, this is not financial advice. Um, all I'm doing is giving you all my perspective and my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you all think. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.